So I thought I would show you a very simple way of making a salsa, a red salsa that is very good for, you know, things like uh, chilaquiles, for enchiladas, for pastel azteca, which is another recipe that I'm going to show you. Um, and you can use it for many things. Actually, in Mexico, we, we call this caldillo de tomate or like, you know, tomato broth. And that's what we're gonna do. So for this recipe, what we need is, we need uh, four tomatoes, have four tomatoes, have a red chili, could be any other chili, I just want it to be the same color, that's all. Um, a garlic clove, half of an onion, and some salt. So let's get started, it's pretty easy. It's all about the charring. All right, so I'm gonna put up, on my kamal, I'm gonna put the tomatoes. Uh, they're dancing, that's awesome. Uh, my onion, the red chili, and the little garlic. Now you can do the same in a in a saucepan or a frying pan, or you can put all of this in the in the oven as well. If you're gonna put it in the oven, I recommend um, about 150 Celsius for about 20 minutes. Um, that would do. What we're looking is the roasting, but also. Um, we're also looking for some charring and I, that's why I prefer to do it on a comal because in a comal you have all the charring. Love when they're dancing. All right, so now that I have this charring going, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them in the blender. So first the tomatoes, because the tomatoes have all the juice and that will get the blender going. Put the tomatoes in, put the garlic, put that um, onion. And lastly, put the chili in. I like to, I like to leave the stem of the chili. There's no problem with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, everything is going to be um, blended together. And I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth. I have some chicken broth for my, for another recipe. And that's just for, that's just to keep, um, you know, the blender going at the at the bottom. And so I'm going, I'm just going to add one. ladle full of um, chicken chicken broth just to get them going and can also add salt and then it's gonna blend all of that together And a salsa and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just heat it up so we just empty the content on a saucepan and we're gonna need it we're gonna cook it for another five minutes it's just it's just so that all the flavors uh, come together and then you'll have it again. and that's it we have a delicious uh, red salsa also known as calvillo